Today's project is based on the art of Jen Stark. For this project, you're going to need a large variety of brightly colored papers, glue stick, a pencil to start, and a pair of good scissors. Jen's art is very organic and abstract. For my first paper, I'm gonna make a small organic line. I drew my line right on the edge so it would be easy to cut out. When I want to cut carefully, I often cut a larger shape to start and then go back in and get the finer details. I also find that it's easier if I turn the paper instead of my hand and scissors. My first shape was very small. We're going to be adding more layers to this as we go. Now I'm ready to add my first layer. I'm going to glue my first shape down onto this new color. Notice how I put it close to the edge and in a corner. This saves a lot of paper for me to use later. Jen's art explodes with bright colors. As I make my projects today, I'm going to explore different color families and how they look together. I'm going to be aligning all my layers up with this same flat edge. After I glue my first shape down, I don't have to use my pencil anymore. I'm just going to carefully cut and follow the contour lines of the shape before. Once again, I started with a larger shape and now I'm going to carefully go back in and make my contour lines. The edges of the shapes don't have to be evenly spaced or parallel, but it is important to cut carefully so you get smooth lines. I repeat gluing down my shape and cutting out the next layer. Can you tell what color pattern I'm going to create? Notice how I placed my shapes in the corner again. That lets me use this piece of yellow for later. As I add new colors and create new layers, I slowly start to change the edge of the shapes. This creates the melting or dripping effect that you see in Jen Stark's artwork. I repeat the process of gluing and cutting until I'm happy with my design. Of course, I had to start with Roy G. Biv. You can explore so many shapes, colors, and patterns. This collage is all warm colors. It makes me think of melting lava, and black adds a nice contrast. Thank you. 
For this version, I'm going to use soothing, cool colors. I also changed the shape that I started with. My plan for this project at school is to take all of our student projects and put them together into a large collaboration. Jen created this amazing mural at the offices of Facebook. As you work, it's sometimes nice to test out different color combinations. I hope you had fun learning about Jen Stark and her amazing style of art. I encourage you to check out her website, jenstark.com, 
Then you can see all the ways that she's created 